My dear friends, beautiful souls on this magnificent journey of life, I stand before you today with a message that has the power to transform not just your life, but your very experience of reality. We're here to explore a topic that goes to the very core of our existence. Change the way you think. These five words hold within them the key to unlocking a life of boundless joy, profound peace, and unlimited potential. As I look out at all of you, I see minds buzzing with thoughts, hearts yearning for change, and souls ready to embark on a journey of transformation. I want you to take a moment right now to become aware of your thoughts. Close your eyes for a second. Listen to the internal dialogue in your mind. What stories are you telling yourself? What beliefs are running in the background of your consciousness? Open your eyes. And here we are, present in this moment together, ready to explore the incredible power of our thoughts. You see, my friends, our thoughts are like the soil in a garden. The quality of the soil determines what can grow. If the soil is rich and nourishing, beautiful flowers and bountiful fruits can flourish. But if the soil is poor and toxic, even the hardiest of plants will struggle to survive. In the same way, the nature of our thoughts determines the quality of our lives. Change your thoughts, and you change your world. Let me share with you a story that illustrates the transformative power of changing one's thoughts. I once knew a man named Michael. Michael had grown up in a household where negativity was the norm. His parents constantly complained about life's hardships, and this mindset had seeped into Michael's own way of thinking. As an adult, Michael found himself stuck in a job he hated, in a relationship that was falling apart, and with a general sense of dissatisfaction with life. Michael's default thought patterns were always geared towards what was wrong, what could go wrong, and why he couldn't succeed. I'm not smart enough, I'm not worthy of love. Life is a constant struggle. These were the mantras that played on repeat in Michael's mind. And true to form, his life reflected these beliefs. He was passed over for promotions, his relationship ended, and he felt constantly stressed and unhappy. But one day, Michael had an encounter that changed everything. He met an old man in a park who seemed to radiate joy and peace. Intrigued, Michael struck up a conversation with him. The old man shared with Michael a simple yet profound truth. Your life is a reflection of your thoughts. Change your thoughts, and you change your life. At first, Michael was skeptical. How could something as simple as changing his thoughts make a difference in the real, concrete challenges of his life? But something about the old man's serene demeanor and the simplicity of his message resonated with Michael. He decided to give it a try. Michael began by simply becoming aware of his thought patterns. He was shocked to realize just how negative and self-defeating his internal dialogue had become. Armed with this awareness, he made a conscious effort to challenge and change these thoughts. When the thought I'm not smart enough arose, he countered it with, I am capable of learning and growing. When he caught himself thinking life is a constant struggle, he reframed it to life is full of opportunities for growth and joy. At first, this felt artificial, even silly. But Michael persisted. He read books on positive thinking, practiced affirmations, and surrounded himself with uplifting people and messages. Slowly but surely, he began to notice a shift. As his thoughts became more positive and empowering, his attitude changed. He began to approach challenges at work with enthusiasm rather than dread. He started taking better care of his health. He opened himself to new relationships. The transformation in Michael's life was remarkable. Within a year, he had earned a promotion at work started a fulfilling new relationship, and found a sense of joy and purpose he had never known before. Michael's external circumstances hadn't magically changed overnight. 
but his new way of thinking allowed him to see opportunities where he once saw only obstacles to find strength where he once felt only weak. Michael's story is a powerful reminder of the incredible influence our thoughts have on our lives. When we change the way we think, we change the way we perceive and interact with the world. And when we change the way we interact with the world, we change our lives. Now, I can almost hear some of you thinking, but it's not that simple. You don't understand my situation. My problems are real, not just in my head. My dear friends, I hear you. I understand that many of you are facing very real, very challenging circumstances in your lives. Please know that when I speak about changing your thoughts, I'm not suggesting that your problems aren't real or that positive thinking alone will magically solve all your difficulties. What I am proposing is a shift in how we approach our challenges, a change in the lens through which we view our lives. You see, while we can't always control our circumstances, we always have control over how we think about those circumstances. And it's our thoughts about a situation more than the situation itself that determine our emotional response and the actions we take. Consider for a moment two people facing the same challenging situation. Let's say losing their job. The first person might think, this is terrible. I'm a failure. I'll never find another job. These thoughts lead to feelings of despair and hopelessness which in turn might cause this person to withdraw, to stop looking for opportunities, to give up before they've even started. The second person facing the exact same situation might think this is a setback, but it's also an opportunity. Maybe this is the push I needed to pursue the career I've always dreamed of. These thoughts lead to feelings of hope and determination which might inspire this person to update their skills, network actively, and approach their job search with energy and optimism. Same situation, different thoughts, vastly different outcomes. This is the power of changing the way you think. But let's delve deeper into why we think the way we do. Our thought patterns are shaped by a multitude of factors. Our upbringing, our experiences, our culture, our education, Many of our most ingrained thought patterns were formed when we were children, before we had the capacity to critically examine them. As adults, we often continue to operate based on these childhood beliefs without ever questioning whether they still serve us. For instance, a child who was constantly criticized might develop the belief, I'm not good enough. As an adult, this person might continue to think I'm not good enough in various situations, even when there's ample evidence to, to the contrary. This thought pattern left unchallenged can limit this person's joy, their relationships, their career success, their entire life experience. The good news is that as adults, we have the power to examine our thoughts, to question our beliefs, and to choose new ways of thinking that better serve us. This is what I call conscious thinking and it's a crucial step in changing the way we think. Conscious thinking begins with awareness. Start paying attention to your thoughts. What's the running commentary in your head? What do you say to yourself when you look in the mirror, when you face a challenge, when you interact with others? Don't judge these thoughts, just observe them. This awareness alone can be transformative as it allows you to see that your thoughts are not facts, but simply habitual patterns of thinking. Once you're aware of your thoughts, you can begin to question them. Is this thought true? Is it helpful? Where did this belief come from? Does it still serve me? This questioning process helps to loosen the hold that limiting beliefs have on us. The next step is to consciously choose new thoughts. This doesn't mean denying reality or pretending everything is perfect. It means choosing thoughts that are both realistic and empowering. Instead of, I always mess things up, try, I'm learning and growing every day. Instead of, I'll never achieve my dreams, try, I'm capable of achieving great things when I put my mind to it. At first, these new thoughts might feel fake or forced. That's okay. Remember, you're rewiring decades of mental habits 
It takes time and practice. But if you persist, these new thought patterns will begin to feel more natural and you'll start to see changes in your feelings and behaviors. Let me share another story that illustrates the power of changing our thoughts. I once worked with a woman named Sarah who had a deep-seated fear of public speaking. The mere thought of standing in front of an audience would send her into a pain. Her thoughts in these situations were always along the lines of, I'm going to mess up. Everyone will laugh at me. I'm not smart enough to speak in public. These thoughts had held Sarah back in her career for years. She turned down promotions and missed out on opportunities because they would have required her to speak in public. But Sarah was tired of letting this fear control her life. She decided it was time for a change. We started by examining Sarah's thoughts about public speaking. Where did these beliefs come from? Were they actually true? Had she ever really messed up so badly that everyone laughed at her? As we dug deeper, Sarah realized that these thoughts were based on a single embarrassing incident from her childhood, not on her current reality as a competent, knowledgeable adult. With this awareness, Sarah began to consciously choose new thoughts about public speaking. Instead of, I'm going to mess up, she started thinking I have valuable insights to share. Instead of everyone will laugh at me, she reframed it to the audience wants me to succeed. Instead of I'm not smart enough, she reminded herself I am well prepared and knowledgeable about my topic. Sarah practiced these new thought patterns diligently. She used visualization techniques, imagining herself speaking confidently and the audience responding positively. She used affirmations, repeating her new empowering thoughts to herself daily, and gradually she began to feel a shift. The first time Sarah had to give a presentation after this mental shift, she was still nervous. That's natural. But instead of being paralyzed by fear, she felt a sense of excitement her new thoughts allowed her to focus on the message she wanted to share rather than on her fear of judgment. The presentation was a success. It wasn't perfect, but Sarah's new thought patterns allowed her to handle small mistakes with grace and to connect with her audience in a way she never had before. This positive experience further reinforced her new way of thinking. Over time, Sarah became known as a confident and engaging speaker. She earned that promotion she had once turned down and even started mentoring others who struggled with public speaking, all because she changed the way she thought. Sarah's story reminds us that our thoughts are not set in stone. No matter how long we've been thinking in a certain way, no matter how ingrained a belief might seem, we always have the power to choose new thoughts. Now, some of you might be wondering, is changing my thoughts really that powerful? Can it really make a difference in my life? The answer is a resounding yes. And it's not just anecdotal evidence. Uh, science backs this up. Research in the field of neuroplasticity has shown that our brains are constantly changing in response to our thoughts and experiences. When we repeatedly think in certain ways, we strengthen specific neural pathways in our brains. This is how habits of thought are formed. But the exciting thing is that we can create new neural pathways by consistently thinking new thoughts. This means that quite literally, by changing your thoughts, you're changing your brain. And when you change your brain, you change your life. But it's not just about individual transformation. When we change the way we think, we change the way we interact with the world and with others. This can have a ripple effect, influencing our relationships, our communities, and even society at large. Imagine a world where more people chose thoughts of compassion over judgment, of possibility over limitation, of unity over division. How might that change our families, our workplaces, our communities, our world. This is the broader impact of changing the way we think. Now, I want to address something important. Some of you might be thinking, but what about negative thoughts? 
Aren't they sometimes necessary or even helpful? This is an excellent question. And it touches on a crucial aspect of changing the way we think. The goal isn't to eliminate all negative thoughts or to live in a state of blind positivity. That wouldn't be realistic or even desirable. Negative thoughts can sometimes serve a purpose. They can alert us to dangers, motivate us to make changes, or help us process difficult emotions. The key is to develop a balanced, realistic optimism. It's about being able to acknowledge challenges and difficulties while still maintaining a constructive, solution-focused mindset. It's about choosing thoughts that serve us rather than limit. For example, if you're preparing for a job interview, the thought this is gonna be challenging can be helpful. It can motivate you to prepare thoroughly. But the thought I'm gonna fail miserably is not helpful. It's more likely to increase your anxiety and undermine your performance. The goal would be to acknowledge the challenge while still maintaining confidence in your abilities. This will be challenging, but I'm well prepared and capable of handling it. Changing the way you think doesn't mean ignoring problems or pretending everything is perfect. It means approaching life's challenges with a mindset that empowers you to overcome them rather than be overwhelmed by them. Let's explore for a moment why changing our thoughts can be so challenging. Often, our habitual thought patterns feel comfortable, even when they're not serving us well. They're familiar, predictable. Changing them requires stepping out of our comfort zone, and that can feel scary. Additionally, our thoughts are often deeply intertwined with our sense of identity. The thought I'm not good at math might have been with you since childhood. It might feel like a fundamental truth about who you are. Changing such a thought isn't just about adopting a new idea. It's about reshaping your self-concept. That's deep, challenging work. But my friends, I'm here to tell you, this work, challenging as it may be, is absolutely worth it. Because when you change the way you think, you change the story you tell yourself about who you are and what you're capable of. And when you change that story, you change your life. So how do we go about this work of changing our thoughts? Let me share with you some practical strategies that can help you on this journey. First and foremost, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is the art of being aware of your thoughts without getting caught up in them. It's about observing your mind without judgment. This practice allows you to create a space between stimulus and response between the events in your life and your reaction to them. In that space lies your power to choose your thoughts. You can start small. Take a few minutes each day to sit quietly and observe your thoughts. Don't try to change them or judge them. Just notice them. You might be surprised by what you discover about your habitual thought patterns. Next, challenge your thoughts. When you notice a negative or limiting thought, don't accept it as truth. Ask yourself, is this thought really true? What evidence do I have for and against this thought? How else could I interpret this situation? This process of questioning helps to loosen the hold that limiting beliefs have on us. Another powerful technique is reframing. This involves taking a thought and consciously choosing to look at it from a different perspective. For example, if you make a mistake at work, instead of thinking I'm such a failure, you could reframe it as this is an opportunity to learn and improve. Reframing doesn't deny the reality of a situation, but it allows you to approach it in a more constructive way. Affirmations can also be a powerful tool for changing your thoughts. These are positive statements that you repeat to yourself regularly. The key is to choose affirmations that resonate with you and that you can believe in, even if you don't fully believe them yet. For example, I am capable of handling whatever challenges come my way, or I am worthy of love. Visualization is another technique that can help reshape your thoughts. Spend time each day visualizing yourself succeeding, handling challenges with grace, or embodying the qualities you want to develop. Your brain doesn't always distinguish between vividly imagined experiences and real ones. So 
visualization can help create new neural pathways that support your new way of thinking. Surrounding yourself with positive influences is also crucial. The people we spend time with, the books we read, the media we consume, all of these influence our thoughts. Choose to surround yourself with people and content that uplift and inspire you that reinforce the new thought patterns you're trying to develop. And perhaps most importantly, be patient and compassionate with yourself on this journey. Changing the way you think is not an overnight process. It takes time, practice, and persistence. There will be days when it feels easy, when your new thought, and there will be days when old habits of thought reassert themselves strongly. On those challenging days, don't berate yourself. Remember, the goal isn't perfection. It's progress. Each time you become aware of a limiting thought and make the choice to reframe it or replace it with a more empowering one, you're strengthening your mental muscles. You're rewiring your brain. Celebrate these small victories. Let me share with you one more story that illustrates the ongoing nature of this journey. I once worked with a man named David who had struggled with low self-esteem for most of his life. David's default thoughts about himself were always critical and self def I'm not good enough. I don't deserve success. People only pretend to like me. These were the thoughts that dominated David's mental landscape. Through dedicated work, David began to change these thought patterns. He practiced mindfulness to become aware of his thoughts. He challenged his negative self-talk and consciously chose more empowering thoughts. He used affirmations and visualization to reinforce his new way of thinking. Over time, David's self-esteem improved dramatically. His relationships became more fulfilling, his career flourished, and he found a sense of joy and peace he had never known before. But here's the important part of David's story. Even after all this progress, there were still days when those old critical thoughts would creep back in. The difference was that now David had the tools to recognize these thoughts for what they were. Old habits, not truths. He knew how to challenge them, reframe them, and choose more empowering thoughts. Each time he did this, he reinforced his new mental habits and strengthened his improved self-image. David's experience reminds us that changing the way we think is not a one-time event, but an ongoing practice. It's like tending a garden. You don't plant the seeds once and expect a flourishing garden forever. You need to water weed and tend to your mental garden regularly. As we near the end of our time together, I want to leave you with this thought. Your mind is the most powerful tool you possess. Your thoughts shape your emotions, your actions, your experiences, your very reality. By changing the way you think, you have the power to transform not just your internal world, but your external circumstances as well. Imagine for a moment the person you could be if you consistently chose thoughts of self-love instead of self-criticism, of possibility instead of limitation, of gratitude instead of complaint. Imagine the impact you could have on the world around you if you approached each situation with thoughts of compassion, understanding, and hope. This power is not something you need to acquire. It's already within you. It's your birthright as a conscious thinking being. All you need to do is recognize it, claim it, and use it. So I invite you right here, right now, to make a commitment to yourself. A commitment to become more aware of your thoughts. A commitment to challenge thoughts that no longer serve you. A commitment to consciously choose thoughts that empower you, that bring you joy, that align with the person you want to be and the life you want to create. Start small. Choose one area of your life where you'd like to change your thinking. It might be your thoughts about yourself, about your capabilities, about your relationships, or about your future. Commit to spending a few minutes each day practicing the techniques we've discussed. Mindfulness thought-challenging, 
reframing, affirmations, visualization. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. Every person you see, every person you meet is engaged in their own inner dialogue, their own struggle with limiting thoughts, their own journey towards more empowering ways of thinking. As you practice changing your thoughts, you become a beacon of possibility for others. Your transformed way of being becomes an invitation for others to examine and change their own thought patterns. My dear friends, the power to change your life lies in your ability to change your thoughts. Your thoughts are the seeds from which your reality grows. By choosing your thoughts consciously and carefully, you are in essence choosing the life you want to live. Will you accept the challenge to change the way you think? Will you embrace the power that resides within your own mind? Will you commit to the ongoing practice of cultivating thoughts that serve you, that inspire you, that allow you to become the highest version of yourself? The choice is yours, and I believe in you. I believe in your capacity to transform your thoughts and in doing so to transform your life. I believe in your power to create a life of joy, purpose, and deep fulfillment by harnessing the incredible power of your mind. So go forth from here with courage and hope. Pay attention to your thoughts. Challenge those that limit you. Choose thoughts that empower you. Tend to your mental garden with care and consistency. Your best life, your truest self, is not some distant dream. It's available to you right now through the thoughts you choose in this and every moment. Thank you, my dear friends. May you be blessed with the wisdom to recognize the power of your thoughts and the courage to shape them in ways that serve your highest good. Remember, change your thoughts and you change your world. The power is yours. Use it wisely, use it often, and watch as your life transforms in beautiful and unexpected ways 